Hi everyone, hope you all are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss each and everything that is important for you to know about gate exam at this moment, right? Right before the starting of your preparation, what you need to know. There are so many students who just start preparing right away without even knowing the basic things about gate exam. So in this video, we are going to discuss all those basic and important things that you need to know beforehand. So those who are new to this channel, let me introduce myself. I am Parul Sharma. I am an architect and I did my master's from IIT Kharagpur in infrastructure design and management. I secured All India Rank 2018 Gate 2019 and I'm the founder of Eri Academy. At Eri Academy, we provide classes for gate architecture and planning. If you are someone who is interested into taking classes for gate architecture and planning, or if you are interested in some guidance or mentorship also for the exam, you can reach out to us through any platform or any link that is given in the description below. Or you can also directly call us or WhatsApp us on the number that is given below. Now, without further ado, let's start the video and know everything about gate 2025. First, let's understand what exactly is GATE and who is the organizing authority of this exam. GATE is Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. If you are a student in bachelor's or if you have done your bachelor's, then GATE is a gateway to go into master's and do, it, do your master's from premier institutes like IITs, NITs and SPAs in case of architecture students. And also you can join PSUs through this exam. Students from engineering, technology, science, architecture and humanities and planning background students can give this exam. And this exam is being conducted by seven IITs and IISC Bangalore. Last year, GATE 2024 was conducted by IISC Bangalore. And this year, GATE 2025 will be conducted by IIT Roorkee. IIT Roorkee. Okay. IIT Roorkee is going to conduct GATE 2025 exam. And last time when IIT Roorkee conducted this exam was in 2017. Moving on next to the eligibility criteria. So eligibility criteria for GATE 2025 or GATE architecture or planning examination. If you are a student in third year, fourth year or fifth year of your bachelor's in architecture, you are eligible to give GATE exam. Or if you are third year or fourth year student of B plan, then also you are eligible for this particular examination. Or if you have cleared the examination, if you have completed your graduation in batch B arc or B plan, then also you are eligible for this particular examination. And there is no restriction on a number of times, how many number of times you can give this exam. You can give this exam n number of times. There is no age limit. There is no restriction on number of times. Now, moving on to next and the most important thing that you need to understand at this point is understanding the syllabus. In this video, we will not discuss in detail about the syllabus, but we will understand how the syllabus is divided and what all important things that we need to know at this point while you, you have started your preparation. So syllabus is divided into three parts where part one, this is part A, that is common part. This is part B1 that is architecture, architecture and you have part B2 that is planning. So there are seven sections in part A, common part and three sections in uh, part B1, architecture part and three sections again in planning part, part B2, three sections. Okay. Now, the part A common part is mandatory for all the students who are appearing for this particular examination. So this is mandatory part. Everyone has to appear into these questions. Everyone has to attempt these questions. Okay. Part B1 and part B2. While you will be sitting for your examination in February gate 2025, you will have option to appear into part B1 or part B2. You will have a choice to do part B1 or part B2. Say for example, you are a student of BARC or you have done your degree in BARC and you want to do your master's in planning, M plan. So you can attempt part B1 or B2 up to, it's totally up to you. With subjects you like, you can attempt that part. It won't affect the, you know, your particular selection criteria into M plan. If you are attempting part B1 architecture, 
सो इट्स नॉट लाइक कि इफ यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग पार्ट बी वन आर्किटेक्चर यू वोट बी एबल टू गेट एडमिशन इन टू एम प्लान नो इट्स नथिंग लाइक दैट यू कैन अटेम्प्ट एनी ऑफ द पार्ट पार्ट बी वन और पार्ट बी टू एंड सिंस एंड स्टिल ऑल्सो यू कैन यू नो ज्वाइन एम प्लान एंड सिमिलर केस विद द प्लानिंग स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर फ्रॉम बी प्लान एंड यू कैन अटेम्प्ट एनी ऑफ द पार्ट पार्ट बी वन और पार्ट बी टू एंड यू कैन ज्वाइन एनी फर्दर डिग्री दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू राइट so that is the bifurcation of syllabus that you need to know and this detail is very important for you to understand that part a is the common part is mandatory part that you have to do and there is a choice between part b1 and part b2 along with these section there is general aptitude section that is also mandatory for each and every student who attempt this exam okay now if we have a look at the syllabus there are seven sections as i already told you there are seven sections in part a common part architecture planning and design construction and management environmental planning and design urban design landscape conservation so i have made a particular playlist that is presently on our channel eri academy where each and every section i have discussed in detail about each and every section and also each and every topic that is there so in detail discussion and also we have analyzed last 5 year question paper and we have seen the importance of each and every topic which topic you actually 100% need to do and which topic are light topics that you can also leave although i won't suggest any one of you to leave any topic but still if you have time constraint or if you don't want to delve into that much deeper into that particular topic maybe you can leave that based on the importance of it so if you are interested to watch that video i'll add the link in the description below that will help you a lot in your preparation now coming over to part b1 architecture and part b2 planning you will have a choice between these parts and there are three three sections in each of the part so part b1 has history and contemporary architecture building construction and structural system then building services and sustainability and your planning part will have regional and settlement planning planning techniques and management and infrastructure planning i have also discussed the study material free study material where you can study all of these things and uh, all the required material that you need so i have discussed all of those things in the playlist that i am telling about important topics that you can't miss everything you can find it there along with that if you want free questions material free lectures on any of these topics that is also available on our app airy academy on our app airy academy you can find free test free study material free books and references and there are a lot of material that will help you in your preparation i will also add the link of android and ios app in the description below moving on to exam pattern it's also very important to understand the exam pattern the different bifurcation of uh, questions in these different different sections if you will see it's written for ar that is for architecture exam part a is common and compulsory for all and part b1 or b2 can be selected during exam now understand the exam pattern when we are talking about exam pattern there is this section general aptitude that consists of 15 marks right in this 15 marks five questions are of one mark and five questions are of two mark so in total it consists of 10 questions right then we have part a that is common part that is mandatory for everyone it consists of 60 marks and 39 questions in total out of which 18 questions are of one mark and 21 questions are of two marks then we have part b1 or part b2 any of the part it consists of 25 marks and total of 16 questions out of which seven questions are of one mark and nine questions are of two marks so in total the qu uh, the question paper will be of 100 marks and total 65 questions will be there so i hope this is clear to everyone the next and last important thing that we need to discuss here is the type of questions that come in the exam so there are four type of questions in which first is mcq that is multiple choice question in which only one option will be correct one option will be correct and it can be of one mark or two marks and it will have negative marking also of if if it, if it is of uh, one mark then the negative marking will be of 0.33 and if it is of two marks then negative marking will be of 0.66 multiple select question that is msq in which 
वन ऑप्शन कैन बी करेक्ट एंड मोर देन वन ऑप्शन कैन बी करेक्ट एंड देर इज नो पार्शियल मार्किंग इन दिस वेन आई एम सेइंग नो पार्शियल मार्किंग वॉट आई मीन बाई दिस इज इफ द आंसर ऑफ एनी क्वेश्चन इज ए सी डी सिंस मल्टीपल ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट ए सी डी एंड इफ यू हैव टेक ए एंड सी देन देर विल बी नो मार्क्स गिवन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन एंड द बेस्ट थिंग इज दैट देर इज नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग इन एम एस क्यू सो इट्स सेफ देर and then you have nat numerical answer type question in this the question will be there and you have to type in the answer that you got say for example your answer is 25 so you need to type in 25 there right there is again no negative marking in such type of questions and it uh, the questions are of one mark or two marks then last type of question is match in which you have to match column 1 to column 2 okay and these questions are of generally two marks and it consists of 0.66 negative marking so these are the different different type of questions that you can expect in your gate exam i hope all the points that we have discussed so far is clear to you and all these are very basic i hope most of you know these uh, things but if you don't know and if you are preparing for gate uh, 2025 or gate 2026 so i believe you need to know about all these information beforehand while preparing for the examination now one last information that i want to give you is on our app eri academy you can find different study material free test and many other relevant information that will be helpful for you in your preparation and also you can join our whatsapp group where all the updates and important information regarding this examination you will find it there so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much